I'm a person because my parents did the deed. That's just like really weird to think about because my parents got divorced when I was like a year and a half old. So I've never seen them together. They basically hate each other. Like to think about them being around each other or close friends, married, doing that. Oh my god, that's just so weird. And if they had done it like any earlier or any later than they did it, different. Like I wouldn't be the person I am right now. But I like who I am. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You know what I hate? When you're the first person that's got a dirty dish after the clean one just got done washing. So you have to put up like the entire dish load of dishes just so you can put your dish up. That happens to me a lot because I eat like a morbidly obese person. What I hate even more than that is when the dishwasher doesn't clean everything like really good. So, I mean, first of all, you get your hand and it's like dirty mush stuff that got left on a spoon. And then after that you have to sit there and like sort through, okay, I'm going to examine all these uh, dishes and I have to decide which ones I'm going to put up and which ones don't qualify as clean and I'm going to put back in there. I don't really mind loading the dishwasher though. Kind of like playing Tetris. But what I hate even more so than that is when somebody goes, like my dad or somebody goes in there and they get something and they're like, who put up the dishwasher? Because it's done wrong. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know where everything goes. I, I really don't. And I'm like, gee, should I take like a dishwasher placing class on Thursdays at the community center? But what I hate even more so than that. Perfect. If life is like a bowl of cherries, does that mean death is like a bowl of dead babies? This is stuff I think about when I'm at school. Okay, I went to three different Walmarts yesterday. Three. And I use Sun Silk Straighten Up Shampoo, which makes my hair wavy, but I like that it's wavy, even though it's Straighten Up Shampoo, but I don't mind. Please don't change the shampoo. None of them had the shampoo that I used. The Sun Silk, none of them had it. One store had a bottle of conditioner. One bottle of conditioner left. So I got it. But I don't have any shampoo. I can't poo until Walmart helps me. I hate my job. If you live in Mobile, do not get a job at Whataburger. It will be the single most hated decision of your life. Unless you, like, killed somebody or something. Because that's a pretty bad decision. But look on the bright side. Whataburger hires people who've been convicted of felonies. Why do you park on a driveway and you drive on a parkway? Why do civilized human beings think that sacrificing people in battle is worth any prize of war? I probably just stepped on some toes. I think that it should be a requirement to be a U.S. citizen that you work at a fast food place at one point in your life. Here's why. You really don't understand how horrible it is or how ridiculous you sound until you've worked fast food. Frankly, I'm getting a little tired of being treated like poo over a hamburger. I've always had a problem spelling the word restaurant. So I used that John Baystow guy's name to help me remember that the A-U comes before just the A. Baystow Ron. So, why do a bunch of southern people, like, completely close themselves out of the variety of life? Like, if you walked up to a southern person and was like, what do you think about gay rights? It would go something along the lines of, oh my god, that's so nasty! Or if you asked them something about Europe, they'd be like, those fruitcakes reading Shakespeare and wearing tight clothes, gross. Just because something's different from your little corner of the world doesn't mean it's, like, wrong. And it doesn't mean it's weird. It means you're close-minded. Not trying to stereotype, but if you live in Alabama like me, it's got a lot of truth. Why do guys have to be bigger chicks than me? I swear, some of the guys I date have periods. They're so clingy, and they're, like, always wanting to text and talk to me and hang out. And, like, that's cool, like normal amount of time. But when it's constant and I don't have any alone time, it's like, God, I need to breathe. I need Megan time. I'm the chick 
Isn't that what I'm supposed to be doing? I had like three dreams about zombies last night. They all scared the piss out of me. Even after I woke up, knew that I was scared from having a zombie dream, and went back to sleep, I still got scared again. The scariest one was the first one though, because there was like zombies everywhere, and I couldn't find my little brother, and I was freaking out because I couldn't find him. Even though in the next one, the zombies like caused a really big collision, and this old lady in the road got run over by a motorcycle, my little brother being lost seemed worse. I remember when I was in like second grade, and my mom used to like always get mad at me because I would always lose like one shoe before school in the morning. Just just one shoe. And I was late every day just because I couldn't find that one shoe. My mom used to get so freaking pissed, but I was like, I'm just a little kid. Shoes are elusive. I didn't realize how much I depended on my phone. Like my phone and my laptop and my flash drive, like everything is on. I left my sidekick at home the other day and like my whole life fell apart. Three awesome books for you to read. One, Zach's Lie by Roland Smith. Number two, The Wave by Todd Strasser. Not sure if I said his last name right. Number three, The Uninvited by Amanda Marone. So have you seen that Alka-Seltzer plus cold commercial? Okay, first off, the official cold medicine of the U.S. ski team. They have official everythings for everything now. Hey! The official sock provider of the U.S. Olympic ski team. Okay, second, she sniffs the Alka-Seltzer and she is all better. You have to drink Alka-Seltzer, which is really gross, by the way. Where do I get all these thoughts? I think way too much.